Good morning, YouTube. Yes, good morning. I had, um, I'm lowest man on the totem pole, so if there's an opportunity that comes around, which never happens, it's the first time it's ever happened, um, I'm the lowest guy on the regular. Uh, there's three people below me that are CCAs or city carrier assistants. Um, so it goes seniority wise if we have uh, an extra person that day and uh, it went all the way down to me and it never happened before so you take the day <laughs> you just take it because it's never going to happen again Wendy once a year they said if it'll happen so I'm taking it so here I am in the, on a Tuesday morning uh, and I got stuff to show I've been feeling under the weather really lately I'm still sinusy but nothing major I got my morning hot chocolate because I don't drink coffee just a warm liquids help me help me help help me anyways anyways and there was a card show in Appleton uh, my long weekend so I went Saturday uh, to Appleton it's about an hour or so I have an hour and 20 minute drive for me so it's really not that bad so I loaded the car I brought the whole works just in case and I'm glad I did got there I'll get into a, some stories here, but um, got there, did some, had people recognize me, which is really cool, and people were, I had, one of them was like, are you on YouTube, you just didn't even, just, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm Bert Caddy, he says, I watch your stuff all the time, <laughs> I'm like, really, what, what are you on YouTube, he says, I don't do it, I just watch it, I'm like, oh, <laughs> so I chatted someone's ear off about that, then I heard, I was looking around, there's only like 10 or 15 tables at this place, um, but it had some quality Packer stuff, and the guy goes, um, I hear a couple guys behind me, he goes, uh, is that Joey? <laughs> you know, because I'm by myself, I didn't, I didn't come with anybody, and as soon as I heard, I turned around and went straight toward him, and I yapped their ears off, so I do, I, I mean, I, I don't want people to be afraid, not that, just because I'm on here, I'm not a celebrity or anything, I'm just a normal dude that loves to talk football especially but I love to talk period if anyone knows who I am I can do this and it's very fast sometimes and I know it's annoying to some people I try to control it as much as I can but I just get excited I love to talk to people I'm a, a single guy so I'm very lonely most of the time so when I at work I'm like this they have to tell me to shut up sometimes <laughs> but anyways I have a couple of pickups I went to that show and clapping, yeah. Well, anyways, the one guy, the first guy that noticed me, that recognized who I was, made a deal. Had this card in hand and made it and traded it for like a Forest Gray Auto and like some cash. And I saw it. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have it. So I said, as soon as he made the deal, I wasn't gonna interrupt the deal and say, hey, I want that instead. I'll. I says, as soon as he cleared away, I did my research on the card a little bit as much as I could do. Um, I came back and says, will you trade for that card? I didn't bring any money with me. It was my plan not to bring anything. I mean, if I had to get money, I'll go get money. But I says, will you trade for that card? He says, I know what you just got for. I just watched the deal. I says, uh, trade value, where are you at on it? Uh, he says, 130-ish. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, and he isn't losing anything, really. He isn't making much either, but I, he, he knows I know, you know, I did the deal. I said, okay. Uh, what are you looking for? He says, I'm what kind of and a Packer show. I'm looking for some Packer stuff. And I said, <laughs> getting got Packer box. Five mid, low to mid end stuff. It was like tw I, five, it was anywhere from like 20 to $25 cards. Nothing even major. Um, I got this card. I'll, I'm going to show the good card first because of the story. Oh, I've got this card. Um, and I, from what I understand, I mean, I don't know much about Brett Favre prices because I just don't. But I knew when I saw it was numbered, I knew it was the rainbow version. This is 2 out of 25 Brett Favre autograph. Very, very nice. Five star. And from what I understand, I did very well. Um, I think, I don't know how much more they go for. But uh, I think, I asked Michael Phillips because he knows. Uh, sorry, I'm still kind of congested. Uh he says it's like 160, 175. So I hit it out of the ballpark there. Um, so I did well with trade. And the guy says, what else you got? I says, go through it. What do you want? 
He said, I'm buying. And he started and picked through some stuff. He bought about $150, $100, $200 worth of stuff. And I, I'm hearing geese. Sorry. <laughs> It was freaking me out. Um, but uh, he bought some stuff, and I went to the next guy over, and he says, I'm looking. He bought another good chunk of Packer cards. It was like about 200 or so. I can't remember right now. But then he says, what else you got? I says, well, I do have my non-Packer stuff. You want any? Yeah, he says, let me go through that. We're going to make a deal. I says, I have a whole five-row box. Um, and we made a deal on that. So, uh, and it was just mostly Jersey stuff. There was some nicer stuff in there. Nothing. I think the most crazy thing in there was maybe a Michael Floyd out of five national treasures auto, like Ronnie Trey auto. Wasn't nothing major in there. In fact, he, there's a few things that he didn't want. Um, just a little stack about this tile, tile out of it. Like some sitting races he didn't want and stuff like that. And he said he didn't want this. I was surprised. Tyrone Mathow. Uh, on card mini auto. Anyways, I can get rid of that. Anyways, so he bought that up. So I came home with about seven hundred and fifty dollars cash and uh this off of that day. So the good chunk of money towards nationals and I've got an awesome card out of it. And the autograph is beautiful. So happy. Now when I was there these uh, had those people recognized me. It was it was feel I felt like a rock star for uh, but I, I mean I'm just a normal guy that loves to talk. So I talked to all these people. I met a one guy from the uh, Lambo Elite Group. I met a guy that has some holy crap hall uh, high end Packer stuff. A lot of Aaron Rodgers stuff. Um, I seen the Brett Favre um, Bart Starr dual passing the torch autograph. He had BGS nine, so it's front back. I saw that one for the, like the first time in my life. I mean, I was just some of the stuff was just jaw dropping. He was a very high end guy. His name was Paul. A couple guys that I know met him already. So I looked at his stuff. He looked at mine, and I got the first time I really showed. I mean, this guy was a high end collector, and he was kind of mouth open on some of the stuff I had. I showed him my favorites box, um, and he, yeah, he says, I says, it's, there's some stuff that's in there that's five dollars. There's some that's it's higher, and it's. It's just what I like. So, but yeah, he says, your collection is quite nice. And he has a lot of David Carr and stuff in his collection. He's going all in on him. So, but I met some people, talked, went went crazy, spent a lot more time there than I thought I was going to. But anyways, really, so I got rid of a lot of stuff. I have a few things here and there. Um, I also have six cards out for BGS through RBI Crew 7. What up, fellas? Um... And those will be my next mail day, I'm guessing. But I picked this up before he got traded, even. But tie dye. Select Edward Lacey in a in a throwback uniform. Very important there. I love the throwback uniforms. Love them. I'm not a hater. I love them. Some people just absolutely despise them. I love them. Decent, you know. I love these cards. These tie dye. I was gonna get that one. It's my first select card. I probably won't get much more, but they are very nice. If I find some stuff that's tie dye, I might get it, especially for Ty Montgomery. Uh, that'd be yeah. I think he has some stuff in there that I can get a base card or something like that, uh, or a tie dye card. But um, another eBay purchase. Got this for a song, fifteen bucks shipped, and I, I have to look if it's better a better autograph than the mine I currently have. There's a little blip on the T in the autograph, and mine I think had. A little bit more stuff going on with it so this might be an upgrade got it for 15 bucks shipped found it on ebay hit buy it now Pfft, gone yes gonna yes that's a steal so that's my ebay's i mean i just don't have much coming in i mean got the stuff for bgs already paid for it i just gotta pay for the shipping back when it, it should be back i think next week or graded by next week and be back maybe in a couple weeks it'll be here so i'm really down to nothing as far as non-pc stuff there's one thing i didn't let go i didn't let go of that and my chuck mcnarek since he's not my hall of fame set um because he passed away before he could sign i'm gonna keep this one this is one of my favorite cards i love 2011 limited love that card now he's got a handful of stuff that he didn't buy this much nothing really major i got a few things here i got some bunch of prism when i went crazy on boxes you know 
I do have non-PC stuff. It's just, uh, I still have, this is like a stack of graded stuff that I want to get done eventually. <laughs> There's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Um, I've, I got the, they're in here somewhere, but uh, where are they? The, I'm really curious about the retail red, uh, and I, I got them both in here for somewhere. Where's the other one? Uh, that's is that the number okay not that one I have both of them around here somewhere that's the retail red Kenny Clark uh, is it over here here's my organization skills this is gonna get graded too oh my bar stock um, one of those yep. Eddie Lacy dazzle is it dazzle or razzle dazzle out of 10 I love Eddie Lacy stuff I'm still gonna probably do it um, oh here's the I haven't seen, these are only two I've seen of these, the retail versions. So I have the both one, I think. I still need the gold vinyl out of five and stuff like that. Um, haven't seen one other than first week it oh, popped open and before I even bought the 101. So I have four 101s getting graded at with them guys uh, through BGS, through RBK Q7, Ryan, uh, Neil and Ryan. So fingers crossed, hoping. But, uh, yeah, exciting mail day. Um, it doesn't always have to be. I love finding a deal is just as fun as finding something I really want sometimes. I mean, I really wanted this car, but especially at $15. <laughs> Happy. $15 is nice. So that's all I got. Um, that's BGS and Money Safe for Nats. Did I get cover it all? I think I'm. I think I'm going to talk to Kenny G yet. We'll see here uh, if I'm going to, if he's going to drive me in again. He's one of my, I haven't seen him in a couple years. I haven't talked to him much. He doesn't get on YouTube much anymore. I'm hoping he gets National Treasures so he, I can watch another video. He always used to get boxes of National Treasures every year. Hopefully he does that this year with National Treasures coming out. Um, anyone knows who Kenny G is, Kenny Geography. One of the nicest people I ever met in this community. Absolutely this one that's just most genuine super nice guy um and he, me and Everett I think are the only people that actually see his face because <laughs> he doesn't show his face in his videos we met him uh when he drove me there to share out from Kenosha to Chicago last year or two years ago uh makes me smile I'm gonna probably text him today <laughs> I have I gotta get back with him um I miss Ron Hamburger videos <laughs> the hamburger man Oh man, yeah, I've been reminiscing a lot lately. Some of the YouTube people have um, long gone, they shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, Packers Corner video would be great. I would love to see that one, Troy. Um, but, yeah, come on guys, get back on YouTube. I love some of these Packer videos. Or I'm hanging on to mine. I love making videos, otherwise I would, I'd be gone with them. I just love, I just have a good time. Uh, that's all I got for everybody. Thanks everybody for watching and listening to me flap my jaw. I know, it gets annoying to some people. I know, but <laughs> love you guys. Take care.